Jason Murray is a graduate apprentice with the Steam Fitters Union. So, Jason, you were out there today. What happened with the helmet? Uh, yeah, so got to see Trump, and uh, I was there in the back, and I asked, hey, Mr. President, could you please sign my welding helmet? <laughs> Handed it over. Uh, Secret Service tried to deny it first, and oh, then yeah? he was like, no, let me get that. So, so you'll never wear that again? I uh, can't. Can't. This one's going to go on the, on the mantle at the home. So you so. got to buy a new one. I do have to buy a new one, and the funny part about this whole thing, my brother's in the, he's in the Army, and he's in Alaska right now, so this is, it says Armed Forces, so when he got it and held it up, and I was just like, this is, you know, perfect right now. Well, that's great, and thank yeah. your brother for his service. Oh, thank you. So you heard the soundbite of your chief. He said that it's three to one, Trump to Biden. Was it always like that? Didn't the unions in Manhattan used to be more liberal? Yeah, just four years ago, you could even see that our union, uh, they said to support, support Biden. And then immediately the week after he got into office and took over, laid off 10,000 of our workers, some of my brothers. You know. He laid them off. Laid them off. The job was gone. They were out working on the pipeline, shut down the pipeline. Now all these guys that had jobs out there working, trying to you know, provide for their family, now they, they don't have a job anymore. And he didn't really mention it. He just laid them off and that was it. No apology, no nothing. What else started to change that shifted your political leanings in the union towards Trump? Well, just the cost of, the cost of living. Just going through the roof, uh, everything, everything that they promise, they say more work, they say all this, and then all of a sudden they turn around, all these illegal immigrants coming in. I mean, Kathy Hochul, she was trying to give our work away. So it's like you say the Democrats, you're here for the working man, yet here you're trying to give our jobs away to people that don't even have legal status here yet. When you re reflect back to the Trump presidency, you've now been able to compare. You have four of Trump about four of Biden. Are you and your members thinking about that, just looking at it back to back? Yeah, uh, I have conversations with guys on the job sites all the time. And 2018 was one of the busiest times that any of us can remember in construction. And that was during his presidency. So and it hasn't been as active with Joe Biden? No, not at all. When you th see Trump, I guess he's there at 6.30 in the morning, he's shaking hands and he's getting back to his freezing cage in court. How does that make you guys feel? Uh, it's actually, it's a great feeling. And our, our business manager who was on TV, he reached out to every single presidential candidate to see if they wanted to address our membership. And he got a response directly from Trump, directly from RFK, and he has not received a single email or memo from Biden or his team. Wow. You think President Trump's getting a fair trial here in Manhattan? I think it's a kangaroo court. All right. I think it's a banana republic, and it's, it's, a, it's a shame. All right. Well, I'd sign that for you, but I think it would lower the value. Thank you very much. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah, Thanks thank for you your for service. We'll see you around. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.